What is going on guys today? We have got another shapeshifters hero or foot hero shapeshifters cola 92 dm if you're tired of if You're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day Make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market and at checkout Make sure you hit that jt11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day so we have got another heroes card review for you and it's it looking solid he's come from a center back role probably one of the the ones you didn't really want he did have a decent amount of pace some good defending and physicals and now we've got him in this cdm variety he's had a massive massive upgrade on that passing and obviously on the dribbling as well even his shooting's gone up by 33 plus and having an extra 17 on the pace is absolutely fantastic they have made him a three star four star now he was a two three star so a decent upgrade to be honest i'm glad that they've increased that weak foot that little bit he's medium high to the defensive work rate six one with leadership and power header and also team player as well so okay so some traits on him let's have a look at these base stats then so pace wise solid dm you can't argue you can always get that up uh shooting wise not too fussed passing looking solid throughout dribbling looking very good how tall was he six one it, it'd be interesting. It'll be a nice card. I'm just hoping he hasn't got the same dynamics as he has as a centre-back because that may make him that little bit too blocky and that's where the overcompensation of massive amount of dribbling will actually happen. Defending looking good. Physicality looking good as well. The chem style people are looking for is obviously going to be that shadow. Gets him to a 96 CDM or a 97 centre-back. You end up with 98 pace and 98 defending. So that is almost a match made in heaven for him. It will just all come down to the animations for me. I think that is the big thing with a card like this. Is going from a centre back. There is a certain way they play. They're not necessarily the most agile on the ball. And not necessarily need, needing that much on a DM. It's always nice. Especially if you push that DM forward. If you're playing him more as a, a DM that does push a little bit. Not necessarily rolls into the cam roll. But does actually get himself forward. You want to make sure that he's able to handle the ball. So we're going to check that out. Let's jump straight in to him he's coming roughly now at 180 so he's going to be absolutely chump changed by the end of the day so let's have a look and see if he's worth your pennies cola looking for the ball here he's got janola chasing does enough to keep him busy cola with a big head not not literally just a good header gets it back lovely bit of dribbling little round the flick uh, you know what i will give it him that dribbling is way way better than a center back Finds in Madison, who goes for the shot. Yeah, I will I will agree 100%. Just from that one dribble alone, you can already tell way, way better than his centre-back card. Cola coming in on that defensive duty. Gets a lovely pass out wide to Cola again. Waiting. Oh, waited just that one touch too much. Still get it back here, though. Get it to the Vinny. Mbappe tries to find the near post. Cola going man-to-man -man with Ginola. Does enough to stop him. And like I say, this this is lovely. Like you can definitely tell that left stick dribbling has been upped so much with that big increase on his dribbling. Card looks absolutely fantastic. I think Bundesliga has definitely found a nice DM in him. Good pass out from Kohler. Takes the Oh, takes the half time. Fair enough. Kohler with the tackle and a half. He just takes the ball away. Very nice. And he's done. Kohler going to bring it forward. It seems like he can be. It seems like he could be an even a box-to-box -box at times. Definitely has that dribbling about him, which is very, very nice to see. Good challenge from Kohler. Solid. Kohler again out. You can see that burst of acceleration. That really doesn't come from a centre-back that's turned DM. That is very, very nice. Outstretching Diaz. And that's nearly assist. That is beautiful. Honestly, he's going to be an absolute gem for the price that he's coming in at if he carries on. Good tackle from Kohler again. Kohler taking it down like an expert. Madison's making that run. Can we find something? Essien with a block and a half there. Good interception from Kohler. So going into the overall for Kohler then. Honestly, what a card. Genuinely didn't expect to be... That good, to be honest. I will I will blow his trumpet, honestly. Absolutely fantastic. As pace goes, brilliant. Defending was fantastic. The one thing that, that, that we said at the very start was, was he worth 
just purely for the fact of the animations because that's normally where it goes wrong they boost up everything they go dribbling composure agility balance everything goes up and the animation of the actual player coded into the game stays the exact same and unfortunately can't do toffee this guy was the complete opposite. He was agile. He manages to get through. His acceleration is absolutely unreal. For a, for a DM who's 6'1 with a high and average body type, you honestly cannot complain for this card. More than likely, it will probably come under 100k at, uh, very, very soon. More than likely, before tomorrow maybe now, he's 155 already on the Xbox. So more than likely, he's going to drop below there. And I'd say he's worth absolutely every penny. You have obviously got the likes of Kimmich already as a DM in the Bundesliga. And obviously, German, who is 155 himself. Which again, coming in with some very good stats. But nothing really massively over this Cola card. Definitely in line. They've got the same pace defending-wise and maybe passing is the, is the massive, massive difference you'll find. But in terms of what this card can do, not a bad card whatsoever. Other DMs really is kind of looking over his Vitzel. I'd say they're really the two main ones that is going to be in competition with, really, in terms of uh, DM roles as well. If we look at Germany, I don't think there's many other German DMs as well. You've got, obviously, Kimmich. Matthias is more box-to-box. -box. Um, you've then got this guy, but I think, to be honest, he goes completely over him. Other than that, he's probably the second-best DM in terms of Germany and probably Bundesliga if you like Witzel or not. He definitely comes in that category. And I think with his centre-back card... It was nice at the time, and I think as soon as he came out, it was an okay card, but it was he was very, very easily replaced with the likes of a Gold Virgil, Gold uh, Van Dyke, Gold uh, Varane, and Kim Pembe. So he didn't really have any opportunity to really be in a team. Everybody had the same defense, whereas now everybody's experimenting with different teams, different links. This guy's an absolute perfect gem to look at. Definitely in your Bundesliga team, I'd happily take him in that DM role. You put him next to Kimmich and you've got some very, very top-end DMs next to each other there, really. And I think in terms of kind of centre-backs... I prefer the Bundesliga centre-backs rather than German, to be honest. Because then you can get the likes of Mukiele, you can get um, Klosterman, you can get the SBC, the 92 pace. So there's more than enough links to go around for this card. And I think most definitely you're looking at a bit of a gem of a card as well. Like I say, the price will come down heavily. I can imagine he probably is one of the most packed ones alongside Ricken. So it'll be interesting to see where he kind of goes to. If he gets under 100k, probably to about, what, say like 50 to 70k, then I'd say he's definitely got to be up in the 9.5 to 9.7. I think the pricing's definitely sp absolutely spot on for him. And a very, very good gem of a card, really. So let me know down below what you think about Cola. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll take you... And I'll catch you all for the next ones. Peace.